Blake will tell anybody how it is. And I love that about Blake because I'm the same way myself. If anyone wants to know the truth about like how their outfit looks or if their makeup smudged, I will be brutally honest. And I want everyone to know that. <laughs> I think me and Everett have a lot of similarities. I was Everett probably a, a couple years ago. I used to be a really shy kid. I, I didn't talk that much. I definitely had a lot more anxiety than I do now. It's a good thing to show kids our age that it's more normal than people try to make it seem. Blake and I are very similar in the fact that we're both sarcastic and very blunt and honest. Blake has chosen to live as a teenager without a cell phone. She finds it best for her mental health to not be connected. Personally, I go through times where I just wanna throw my phone in the garbage and not talk to anybody anymore. And then I do have moments where I connect with people and I realize it's okay to ask for help. Doesn't mean you're weak. Harlan is a kid who he'll like push you off. He kind of distances himself. He has a lot of major trust issues, but I feel like Harlan, even though people are gonna think he's like this very tough character. He's actually like one of the most sensitive ones. He cares so much about his family. I definitely feel where he comes from with like the trust issues, but as far as like his swagger and sort of the way he carries himself, stuff like that, kind of like boosts my confidence as well. I think one of the biggest things that stood out to me about Luna initially was the fact that she's trying to find her pack and she's been searching for that her entire life. Growing up, I was constantly trying to find the people that I could relate to and be friends with. And I think Luna represents that struggle, especially in this day and age with how much we're invested with social media and things like that. It definitely has skewed our perception of friendship and, and what that is. I'm proud to play a character that can represent something like that and make other people feel seen. Garrett is a man in constant conflict with the responsibilities of fatherhood. He adopts these two kids that needed special care. I never thought of them as two werewolves. They're different. He'll do anything to protect his kids from outsiders, but especially from themselves. Like Garrett, I'm a father myself. The only difference is that my daughter is only five and Garrett is a father of two teenagers. So I still got some time, but uh, definitely this has been a great experience to uh, prepare.